tell you, I've already said, ya kwamba DOI is a generation of vision. I want to ask Shiko, Shiko uko wapi na nirikuona? Shiko waithaka uko wapi? Nataka wede pale mama yako yuko. Mom, DOI number one. Nataka ukuje karibu na mtoto wako, umulete mpaka hapa. Hata we ujisikie, ya kwamba ukujua unabeba muhubiri. We muhubiri ukoje hapa mpaka uretu hapa na mama yako. Kwa sababu, najua, labda alikuwa analia, kemirage kauma, lakini hakujua, anabeba muhubiri. Na kwa sababu, iyo, iyo huduma, hilo neno limfa sana. She's passing it on to her daughter. And that's why I've asked Shiko to come and escort the preacher today. Come on, appreciate. Can we all rise as we welcome? Hallelujah. This one makes me so happy and so excited. Munifikiria tu ni arusi mutu analetagwa. Ata kwa madhahabahu unaretwa kwa sababu amelbeba neno. Liko na ebu tusumame hapa tupigwe picha. Mamira katoro ya hare otoro kafisha. Neodo, nige adhari ya mehari ya mena toiretu. Maberiri ya gudhaidhaka gai. Tuwana toa otoka marehe madhahabahu ine. Hallelujah! If you believe it, you can shout a bigger amen. 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 This is the kind of a a desire. Hii diyo loho yangu utamani. Shosho akiona mujuku hapa, anajua akona a future. Shosho akiona mtoto wake hapa, anajua. Yani yesu, kani oke jageka gai. You know, yani anafurahia tu, kwegeka ni kuti. Ni kutiko. Yesu wakati mgini anakutiko. Sidiyo mami. One more time, let's celebrate the servant of the Lord as she brings the word this afternoon. Amen. 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 And her interpreter, Pastor Millicent. No, no, no. My other great DOI, Hapa. Her interpreter, Masse Isaac. Amen. Ebu na tumuombe. Bwana tunajua mtumishi wako amejitayarisha. Lakini tunajua roho wako mtakatifu akichukua usukani. Neno lako abaro ni ruhai litafukia watu wote ambao wanasikiliza. Kwa hivyo tunamuombea Bwana ya kwamba God you are going to give her the tongue of the learned. And she'll be able to connect with the listeners this afternoon. I pray that none will be left out, oh God, because we are here because we want to hear from you. We have known that one word from you will make the difference. Therefore, Lord, release using your servants this afternoon the word of the moment to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate Pastor Alice. To we have our sins. coffee, Mama Yetu. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Amen. Barizenu. Amen. Let's stand on our feet, please. Kama si yowewe Ninge kuwa wapi mimi Kama siyo wewe Ninge kuwa wapi mimi Umejawa na rehema Nane matele Umejawa na rehema Hey, 
Amen. We are the works of grace. Amen. May we have our seats. Tukaichini. Mimi naitwa Beatrice. Waithaka. Mimi naitwa Masi Isaac. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Yes, this is DOI March edition. In your flyer, Mabinti wa Atari, mwezi wa tatu. And this afternoon, by the grace of God, na hii ni kwa neema ya Bwana. We want to look at a topic on ownership. Nataka kuangalia mada ya umiliki. It doesn't matter how long we've been saved. Haijalishi ni kiwango gani ama muda gani umekuwa umeokoka. It doesn't matter how long we'll be serving. Haijalishi umekuwa ukihudumu kwa kipindi kigani. But this afternoon, lakini jioni ya leo, the Lord wants us to own our ministry. Bwana anataka tumiliki huduma zetu. We own our kingdom. Tumiliki so that we can defend it ili tupiganie so that we can have we can have time for it ili tukue na muda and we can invest in it ili tuhifadhi kwa huduma hii now what is ownership umiliki ni nini it is selfless devotion ni kujitolea mwanga all umeshika hiyo selfless devotion yani ni kujitolea kabisa it is utilizing and managing resources ni kutumia ama kuhifadhi mali God has provided for the glory of his name ambayo Mungu ametupea kwa jina lake In the kingdom that we are katika ufalme ambao tuko we talk about souls tunazungumzia kuhusu nafsi And that's how God has given us resources na ndio maana Mungu ametupa mali for his own glory kwa utukufu wake Our scripture this afternoon our scripture this afternoon maandiko yetu siku ya leo from the book of numbers kutoka kitabu cha hesabu numbers chapter number 25 25 numbers 25 media team hesabu 25 now israel remained in a cashier groove and the people began to commit adultery with the women of moab basi Israeli akakaa shitimu kisha watu wakaanza kuzini pamoja na wanawake wa Moab. They invited the people to the sacrifices of their gods. Kwa kuwa walikuwa waliwalika hawa watu waende sadakani. And the people ate and bowed down to their gods. Sadaka walizozichinjia miungu yao. So Israel was joined to Baal of Peor and the anger of the Lord was aroused against Israel. Watu wakala chakula wakaisujudu hiyo miungu yao ikawa Israeli kujiunganisha na bahali peori then the lord said to moses kisha bwana akamwambia msa take all the leaders of the people and hang the offenders before the lord out in the sun that the fierce anger of the lord may turn away from israel watae wakuote kwa hao watu 
ukamtungikie bwana watu hao mbele ya jua ili kwamba hizo asira kali za bwana ziondokee Israeli So Moses said to the judges of Israel every one of you kill his men who are joined to Baal of Peor Basi Musa akawaambia waamuzi wa Israeli waweni kila mtu watu wake waliojiunganisha na Baali Peor six And indeed one of the children of Israel came and presented to his brethren a Midianite woman in the sight of Moses and in the sight of all the congregation of the children of Israel who are weeping at the door of the tabernacle of meeting. Na sazama mtu mmoja miongoni mwa wana wa Israeli akaja na kuwaletea nduguze mwanamke Midiani mbele ya macho ya Musa na mbele ya macho ya mkutano wote wa wana wa Israeli hapo walipokuwa walia mbele ya mlango wa hema ya kukutania. Now when Phinehas the son of Eleazar the son of Aaron the priest saw it he rose from among the congregation and took a javelin in his hand Naye Phinehasi mwana wa Eleazari mwana wa Haruni kuhani alipoona jambo hilo akaondoka hapo katika ya mkutano akashika fumo mkononi mwake And he went after the man of Israel into the tent and thrust both of them through the man of Israel and the woman through her body so the plague was stopped among the children of Israel Akamwandama huyo mtu wa Israeli na kuingia ndani ya hema nyuma yake naye akamchoma akawachoma wote wawili kwa fumo lake yule mume wa Israeli na huyo mwanamke kati ya tumbo lake and those who died in the plague were 24000 na waliokufa kwa hilo pigo walikuwa watu 2024 hesabu yao amen bana asifiwe amen uh, this is the story of the children of israel in ya didhi ya wana wa israel where they were camping at some, at some point where they were camping at some point walipokuwa katika kambi mahali fulani and where they were where, where they were camping walipokuwa uh, katika ile kambi they started making love with the women of Moabite wakaanza kujuana kimapenzi na wanawake wa Kimwabi and remember these were some of the tribes that were, were, were they, they were to not to make to make even not even a friendship with them na kumbuka hii ni jamii ambao walikuwa wajambo hata hawako washirikiane na wao and they started making love with these women. Wakaanza kujuana kimapenzi na wale wanawake. And I was asking the Lord when I was praying this message. Niko nauliza Mungu niliposoma habari hii. How come I'm talking to ladies? Ni haje nazungumza na kina dada. And these are the, and the scripture says that the ladies are the one who provoked the men of Israel to make love with them. Na hao wanadada ndio waliochokoza wale wanaume wa shiriki mapenzi na wao. And it happened one day na kafanyika siku moja the anger of the lord arose asira ya bwana ikashuka and the lord told moses na mungu akamwambia msa pick all the lead, leaders in the among the children of israel wakusanye viongozi wote katika nyumba ya israeli why leaders kwa nini viongozi because leaders are the ones who are supposed to show the way kwa maana viongozi ndio wanafaa kutuonyesha njia so they are the ones who failed kwa hivyo wao ndio walianguka and the lord told moses na mungu akamwambia msa may they be hanged all of them during the day wote waangikwe ama wasulubishwe ama wanyongwe mchana ile siku 24000 leaders were hanged 1200 ya viongozi walinyongwa and i want you to flash back 24000 leaders nataka ufikirie 1024 these were men that had wives hao walikuwa na wanaume waliokuwa na mabibi some of them were fathers wengine walikuwa ni baba za watu others were young people wengine walikuwa ni wachanga but the bottom line is lakini cha msingi ni kuwa leaders hawa walikuwa ni viongozi and we are here these certain ladies i don't know you in which capacity as a leader in this church sijui uko hali gani kama kiongozi hapa the church that you come from ama unatoka kanisa gani but the lord told moses lakini mungu akamwambia msa hang all the leaders wasulub ama wanyonge wote and they were hung 24000 na viongozi 1024 wakanyongwa and if that was not in half na hiyo isitoshe One of the men of Israel. Mmoja wanaume wa Israeli, a man, mwanaume. Remember all the were, were, were outside the, car, the tent of meeting crying. Wale viongozi wote walikuwa nje ama watu walikuwa nje wakilia. They were crying pleading for the mercies of the Lord. Walikuwa nalia kwa uchungu because they are widows. Sababu wamekuwa wajani. Others have lost their sons. Wengine wamepoteza wana wao. Others their fathers. Wengine wamepoteza baba yao. Others their brothers. Wengine wamepoteza kaka ama ndugu zao. And when they were crying. Na walipokuwa wanalia. Something happened. Jambo likatendeka. And I want to call Pastor Lea. Nataka kumuita mchungaji Lea. I want to demonstrate this with Pastor Lea. Nataka kuonyesha mfano na mfano na mchungaji Lea. If there were no children here 
kama hakungekuwa na watoto hapa it would be better ingekuwa but because they are children lakini sababu tuko na watoto na sipoe pastor lea can you sleep acha tuonyeshe tu mfano kidogo on your back mm-hmm. on your back acha alale akiangalia chini oh hi <laughs> The Lord is looking for Phineas among us. Bwana anatafuta kina Phineas kati yetu. Leah came alone because we have children in this house. We normally say Dio is for 14 years and above. Amekuja peke yake sababu tuko na watoto katika hii nyumba. Ndio maana tunasema mkuje bila watoto wachanga. This young man from Israel. Huyu mwanaume kutoka Israeli. Took a Midianite Midianite woman. Akamchukua mwanamke wa Kimidian. And they came together. Na wakaja pamoja. Na believe walikuwa na ile swag when they were coming walikuwa na swag. So unajua swag. Walikuja wakibounce yani. Yes. Where are they going? Wanaenda wapi? They were going to make love. Wanaenda kushiriki mapenzi. Kushiriki ngono. Sema maneno vile yuko. Sasa So Kwa hivyo wakaenda up to the tent. Wakafika katika hema. And the people said they had no other business apart from Biblia inasema they had no any other business apart from making love. Hakukuwa na uh, jambo lingine wacha kushiriki ngono. Hakukuwa na biashara ingine kwa hiyo hema. Mm. Biashara ilikuwa moja, si ndio? So they went straight to the tent. Wakaenda moja kwa moja hadi kwenye and hema. To the business. Na wakaanza biashara. I want to flash back what was happening behind them. Nataka ufikirie nini kilichokuwa kinafanyika nyuma. People were weeping. Watu walikuwa wanalia. But this young man and this young lady. Lakini ule mwanaume na ule dada. The man was Zimri. The man was Zimri. His name was Zimri. Uh, mwanaume alikuwa anaitwa Zimri. And the lady was called Cosby. Na mwanaume alikuwa mwanamke alikuwa anaitwa Cosby. And when they were in the act walipokuwa katika kile kitendo Phineas Phineas his anger arose asira yake ikapanda and took a spear akachukua mkuki and he went to the tent akaenda katika hema thank God for Pastor Leah mm-hmm. yes there could be another person on top of Pastor Leah mm-hmm. and now this man because of the anger he pierced stop you kwa pitumbo yako yes The Bible says that he pierced through the berry. Finea ali toboa kupitia kwa tumbo ya uzazi. Akatoboa and they all died. Na wote wakafa. Thank you Pastor Lea. Asante Pastor Lea. And because of that act, sababu ya kitendo hicho, the Lord was so happy. Bwana akafurahia and he stopped the plague. Na akasimamisha ile janga. Watu 24000 had died. Watu 2024 wakafa. One man rose. Mtu mmoja akaisimama. He owned the kingdom. Aka ukumbatia um, He falme. owned where he belonged. Aka aka kubali akumbatia alipokuwa. He knew he Al- doesn't belong to the other tribe. Alikuwa anajua uh, yeye si wa ile kabila lingine. Then has knew Finea alijua where he belonged. Ni wapi alifaa kuwa. We are talking about ownership. Tunazungumzia kuhusu umiliki. Can we find a Phineas among us? Tunataka tupate kina Finea kati yetu. Who can bring to the plague to an end? Ambao wanasimamisha ile janga. Yes, people are sinning in church. Kama watu wanafanya dhambi katika kanisa. But you cannot talk. Lakini hatuwezi ongea. Ndio isemekane ni wewe ulisema. Sije kasemekana mimi ndo nilitoboa sisi. Phineas, Finea feared nobody. He only feared Jehovah. Aliogopa tu Mungu. And I believe this right man intended to provoke Moses. Nataka kuamini kuwa ule mwanaume wa Kiisraeli alikuwa anataka kumthiaki Musa. And the whole assembly of Israel. And the whole assembly of Israel. Na wana wa Israeli wote. He felt to realize that it was Jehovah their God. Alikosa kujua kwamba ni Jehovah Mungu wao whom he was provoking. Ambao kwa alikuwa anamdhihaki. People were weeping because of their sins. Watu wanalia kwa sababu ya dhambi zao. But this man lakini huyu mwana was hastening their downfall. Alikuwa anangangania kuanguka kwao. The plague was severe. Uh, ugonjwa ama ile janga ilikuwa. But this man was fanning it into flame. Na yeye alikuwa anapepetea. Hiyo. Phineas could not stand with this. Finea ange simama kwa ile jambo. His zeal his zeal. <laughs> shauku shauku ya moyo wake. Please God and he stopped the plague. Ilimfurahisha Mungu na kasimamisha ile jambo. Friends. Marafiki. There are many sins of ignorance in the house of God. Kuna mambo mengi ya 
kukosa kuangalia katika nyumba ya Bwana. Since that we have allowed in our tent. Kwa maana tumekubali ndani ya hema yetu. This is our tent. Na hii ndio hema yetu. This is where we meet. Hapa ndio tunapokutana. This is our tent of meeting. Hii ndio hema yetu ya kupatana. Since that we have allowed in our church. Kwa maana tumekubalia yawe katika kanisa. In our nation. Katika taifa yetu. In our offices. Katika ofisi zetu. Even in the society. Hata kwa jamii yote. But the Lord is asking this afternoon. Lakini Bwana anatuuliza jioni ya leo. Who can own? Ni nani atakayemiliki? My purity. My righteousness like Phineas. Usafi wangu, utukufu wangu kama Phineas. Remember this. Phineas came from a family. Phineas alitoka katika jamii. But he didn't care if he's going to be killed. Akutaka kujua ama kujali kama atauawa. If it, it was these days, ingekuwa ni kama wakati kama huu. This was what I was thinking. If ndo nilifokuwa na Phineas Phineas could have gone to that tent. Phineas angeenda katika ile hema. And first watch what was going on. Angee angalie kama view sasa hivi. Hapana asifiwe. Amen. But Phineas made up his mind. Lakini akawazia that he was on a mission. Akajua katika nafsi yake yuko kwenye. Said, enough is enough. Akajua yatosha. If these people are going to wake up and kill me. Kama hao watu watamka na waniue mimi. I've tried my best. Nimejaribu niwezaje. What have you tried? Wewe umejaribu nini? What have you tried? Umejaribu nini? Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Phineas left behind his family. Phineas aliacha jamii yake nyuma. And he went forth. Na kaenda mbele. So that he can support the vision that he had ili akumbatie uh, maono aliyokuwa nayo the lord is looking unto us this afternoon do your eyes bwana anatuangalia jioni ya leo sisi kama mabinti going to take the spear ni nani atakaye chukua mkuu and bring it to an end ni nani atasimamisha janga what is happening in our nation uh, majanga ambayo yanaendelea katika jamii who is going yetu? to own this nation nani atakukumbatia we all love kenya sisi wote tunapenda kenya like a chorus yeah. kama wimbo But the Lord is waiting to see one Phineas among us. Lakini Bwana anangoja kupata Phineas mmoja. Who can stand? Kati yetu atakaye simama. And bring this plague called corruption to an end. Na kusimamisha janga la ufisadi. This plague known as tribalism to an end. Ufisadi wa ukabila janga la ukabila. This plague known as shedding of innocent blood to an end. Janga la kumwaga damu. Can you be found? Je, utapatikana? The Lord is saying this afternoon. Jehovah anasema jioni ya leo. Take the spear of faith. Chukua uh, mkuki wa imani. Take the spear of truth. Chukua mkuki wa ukweli. Take the spear of love. Chukua mkuki wa upendo. Take the spear of openness. Mkuki wa wazi. Take the spear of transparency. Mkuki wa kukuwa wazi. And accountability. Na <laughs> Na kuwajibika and bring about the restoration of God's presence in his house. No let us wish katika nyumba ya Bwana. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. The man and the woman were uh, the one the man and the woman that were killed. Remember they were children of lead, were leaders children. Wale ule binti na jamaa waliouawa walikuwa ni watoto wa Israeli. Umeita jamaa. Ule dada na mwanaume aliyouawa. Hata si dada, dada asifanyie tabia. Huyo <laughs> uh, mwanaume, mwanamke na mwanaume walikuwa watoto wa viongozi. Walikuwa ni watoto wa viongozi. This goes to us as leaders. Hii ni kwetu sisi kama viongozi. Our children. Watoto wetu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. God is calling upon his zealous people. Bwana na Twitter sisi wenye zile wenyeshauku that we can rise up ili tusimame and take our position na tuchukue nafasi yetu and how can we do it na tutafanyaje we must own it lazima tumiliki whatever you own my sister kile ambacho utakimiliki you defend it lazima ukizuie fine has defended his kingdom fine alizuia ufalme he did defend his religion akuzuia he defended his kingdom alizuia because he knew he's from the lineage of Aaron the priest toka katika kizazi cha Aroni ule kuani friends Marafiki. There's no time to waste. Hakuna wakati wa kuharibu. We are not expected to wait for the devil. Atuhitajiki kungoja shetani. To attack us so that we can fight back. Ili atuangamize ili tuipigane. But we've been called to rush after him. Lakini tumeitwa tupigane ama tupigane. Fine has. Fine had all the guys to wait upon them. Alikuwa na wakati wote wa kuongojea. They come back from what they had gone to do. Wamalize vitendo zao alafu watoke. And then he can kill them. Ili waue. 
but he knew lakini alijua waiting upon them they might take the whole day or the whole night kiendelea kuongoja wanaweza chukua muda wote and you know it is was during the day na unajua ilikuwa ni mchana it was not at night haikuwa usiku it was during the day ilikuwa ni mchana Phineas knew. Phinea it is now or never. Ni sasa I must bring this to an end. Ni lazima nikomeshe hili jambo. And he took his spear. Na akachukua mkono. And I was telling the Lord when I was going through my notes. Nilikuwa naambia Mungu nilipokuwa na If you pierce somebody with a, a, a spear. Unapodunga mtu na They can't die. Hawezi kufa. It is so simple. They can't die. Ni kweli hawezi kufa. But the Lord knew. He's going to come on this spear to accomplish the mission. Lazima ape aupe ule mkuki nguvu ili ukamilishe. So the Lord uh, put the, the Lord put death in that spear. Avo alieka kifo katika ule mkuki. So that can I can accomplish the mission that was in Phineas heart. Ili utimize lengo lililokuwa ndani ya Phineas. If these people didn't die. Iwapo hao watu wangekufa. Come to think about it. Hebu fikiria. Been taken to hospital. Wapeleka hospitali. Joined together with a spear. Bwana asifiwe. We must face the enemy fiercely. Lazima tupambane na shetani bila uoga. With the belt of truth. Tukuwa na ukweli ndani yake. With the belt belt of truth. Tukuwa na mshipi wa ukweli. Fast and around our waist. Tumefungiliwa kwenye kiuno chetu. With the blessed spirit of righteousness. Bless please. Okay. Usije. Shanga sema tu hivyo shanga. Shanga and with our feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace na miguu yetu ikiwa imetundikwa kwenye ukweli unaokuja na neno fine has defended god's honor finea alipigania mungu and protected the camp of the lord without caring what the people will say akapigania kambi ya mungu bila kutaka kujali watu watasema nini we fail to stand our ground for righteousness because of what will people say nataka kusimama tunashindwa kusimama kwa maana tunaogopa watu watasema nini this of 2019 mwaka wa 2019 for heavens to open ili mbingu zifunguke and for us to experience open heavens kama sisi ili tuweze kuona mbingu zifunguke what people will say sijali watu watasema nini what god is saying tujali nini mungu atakachosema we have been men pleasers for a long time we have been men pleasers for a long time tumekuwa tukifinyiliwa kwa muda mrefu tumekuwa tukifurahisha watu kwa muda mrefu but now it is our time to please the lord lakini wakati wetu tumfurahishe mungu This hinders us from fulfilling God's will in our lives. Ina tuita ili tutimize malengo ya Mungu kwa maisha yetu. When we please people. Ili tukifurahisha watu. We must break out. Lazima tutoke to this and emulate Phineas. Ili tuweze kumfuata ama kufuata mfano wa Phineas. Those who please the Lord like Phineas. Waliomfurahisha Mungu kama Phineas. Did enter into the blessings of the Phineas covenant. Waliingia katika agano la We want to thank God for Jesus Christ. Nashukuru Mungu kwa maana ya Yesu Kristo. Because he has become our great Phineas. Kwa maana amekuwa Phineas wetu. He has now become the great priest in the house of God. Nisaidia kuwa kuani katika nyumba ya Bwana. Moses, Musa, Phineas, Phineas and others in the Old Testament. Na wengine katika agano kuu wa faithful to God. Walikuwa waaminifu kwa Mungu. Servants. Kama wana, But Jesus Christ. Lakini Yesu Kristo is faithful in the entire house of God as a son. Ni mwaminifu katika nyumba yote kama mwana. My prayer is. Ombi langu ni Don't be contented to be a servant. Usiku umetosheka kama mfanyikazi. But be content to be a daughter. Utosheke kuwa mwana. I cannot call you a son. Siwezi kuita mwana. But be content to be a, a daughter. Lakini utosheke kuwa binti. In the house of the Lord. Katika nyumba ya Bwana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Are we together? He has also made us a household of priests. Ametufanya kama nyumba ya makuhani so that we can serve God who is our God. Tumtumikie Mungu kama Mungu wetu. Finehas Phineas has knew his god. Phineas alijua. And he knew the heartbeat of his god. Na alijua mdundo wa moyo wa Mungu. In the book of Exodus chapter number 19. Katika kitabu cha kutoka 19. Exodus 19. Kutoka 19. Verse 5 and 6. Sari wa 5 na 6. 
Now therefore, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant, then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people, for all the earth is mine. Number six. Sasa basi ikiwa mtaitii sauti yangu kweli kweli na kulishika gano langu hapo ndipo mtakapokuwa tunu kwangu kuliko makabila yote ya watu maana dunia yote pia ni mali yangu and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel nanyi mtakuwa kwangu ufalme wa makuani na taifa takatifu hayo ndio maneno utakayowaambia wana wa Israeli God has chosen all those who has heed his commands Mwana amewachagua wote ambao wamekubali and allow them to be priests eternally na akawakubalisha kuwa kuani ndani That is why God raised another Phineas his own son Ndio maana Yesu alimuinua Phineas mwingine yani mwana wake That is why God raised Hiyo ndo ndo maana Mungu alimuinua Phineas mwingine kama mwanao kama mwanawe to overcome death and become an eternal priest ili apiganie kifo na tukue na uzima wa milele we are to be zealous today against sin as was finas lazima tupiganie dhambi kwa wakati huu kama finea and this cannot be achieved by making the cross of jesus christ the object of one's faith na ia yezi kutimilika uh, kwa kufanya msalaba wa mungu This cannot be achieved can only be achieved by making the cross of Jesus inaweza kutimilika kwa kufanya msalaba wa the object of one's faith kama uh, Sam, amen <laughs> i want to hand another person and then i will be done in the Taka. book of Ruth chapter 1 verse number 16 nataka kuangalia kitabu cha Ruth Ruth chapter 1 verse number 16 Ruth mm, Ruth We all know about the story of Ruth and Naomi. But number 16 says, but Ruth said, entreat me not to leave you or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. Na Ruth wakasema, usinisi ni kuache ni reje, nisifuatane nawe. Maana wewe uendako nitakwenda na wewe uka hapo nitakaa. Watu wako watakuwa watu wangu na Mungu wako atakuwa Mungu wangu. What you own, kile utakachomiliki you devote to it unajitolea ruth had more reason ruth alikuwa na had no reason no more reason to follow her mother in law akuwa na jambo lolote la kumzuia kufuata mama her husband is dead uh, mume wake amekufa and she is free to marry na yuko tayari but ruth knew one thing lakini alikuwa anajua jambo moja she owned her mother in law alimiliki mama yake wako she embraced her faith alimiliki imani yake not giving in to pagan worship hakutaka kuingia katika kuabudu mifano to the god of her mother in law alishikilia katika mama yake the, the god of the land of juda mungu wa yuda ruth vowed to embrace such people and their faith alitaka kuwakumbatia wale watu na imani yao ruth devotion to her mother in law naomi kujitolea kwa Ruth kwa mamake and to God na kwa Mungu show sacrificial love inonyeshana kujitolea and God was pleased na Mungu alifurahishwa remember these two are widows wale wa, wale wawili walikuwa ni wajana a young widow and a old widow jana mdogo na mjane aliyezeeka these two widows wajana wale wawili they were penniless hawakuwa na pesa and had no surety of provisions hawakuwa na jambo lolote la kuwapatia god used famine and location to ensure that ruth mungu alitumia janga la njaa kuhakikisha kuwa ruth becomes part of this great plan and to provide for them awe mmoja wa mpango ule mkuu na kupatia ile familia kitu cha kula friends marafiki your location your location mahali uliko determines your allocation inamaanisha kile ambacho utapata i come again your allocation mahali uliko determines inategemea your allocation kile ambacho utapata god made a way for naomi mungu alifanya njia kwa naomi and connected ruth na kam leta ruth to a kinsman known as boaz kwa mwanaume anayeitwa boaz who became their redeemer ambaye aliwasaidia. Boaz married Ruth. Boaz akamoa Ruth. That's ensuring that their provisions and the restoration of Naomi. Ili kumaanisha uh, 
kusaidika kwao na kurejeshwa kwao nilikuwa ninaumi. God blesses in double measure. Mungu anabariki kwa kiwango cha maradufu. He gave Ruth a husband. Akampa Ruth uh, mume and famine became a thing of the past in her life. Janga la jaa likasaulika katika maisha yao. God rewarded eternally Ruth's ownership to her mother-in-law. Mungu alimbariki mama yake because of obedience kwa maana ya kutii self sacrifice kujitolea and loyalty na kukua loyalty eko eko kuwa loyal sema tu kuwa loyal kuwa loyal eh na ownership kumiliki is laying down oneself for another ni kuachilia wewe mwenyewe kwa mwingine and want to see benefits of ownership nataka kuona faida za umiliki God made a peace covenant with the Phinehas. Bwana akafanya uh, agano la amani. Agano la amani na Phinehas. Na Phinehas. God made a covenant of everlasting priesthood with the Phinehas. Bwana akafanya uh, ukuani usioisha pamoja na Phinehas. Bwana asifiwe. And for Ruth na she was Ruth, found in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Alipatikana katika kizazi cha Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. And now we come home. Na tukija hapa nyumbani. Do you own the we, ladies ministry? Je, wewe wamiliki huduma yako? Can you be can you be counted upon in this ministry? Unaweza hesabika katika huduma. We had we had so many projects for the ladies. Tulianza na cathedral. Tuko na mipango mingi mm-hmm. ya maendeleo ya kinadada. Ya cathedral ikaondo ikapita. Na kuna kitu wewe ulitoa. In those records hakuna kitu wewe ulitoa. Tukakuja upgrading hospitality. Tukanua vitanda ikapita. Wewe hakuna mali ulipatikana. This how you unasema hii uh, church kila wakati ni kutishi wa pesa. Please please by the mercies of God usitoe. Tuko pamoja. Usitoe na usiongee. And I tell you this, kwa sababu kutoa pesa ya kujenga cathedral, cathedral ilikuwa ama si iendelea. How many people were outside the tent of meeting? How many people? There were many. Who stood up on Phineas? Can you be Phineas this afternoon? Si ukue Phineas jioni leo. You can stand up for this ladies ministry. Unaweza simama katika huduma hii ya kina dada. Ikuwa hautatoa pesa, si unaweza ukaomba. Yeah. Si basi uombe. Lakini ujue kuomba lazima utoe. Si umekalia au oh, tulikuwa na project ya kununua viti. Mm-hmm. Na tukanunua viti tukatoka kwa bench. Tukatoka viti ya plastic na hiyo ikapita. Please ladies. Tafadhali kina dada. Mimi I know if there are people who can take you to heaven. Mimi najua kama kuna watu wanaweza kupeleka mbinguni. In a speed. Araka ni ladies. I know if ladies can buy this vision. Najua kama you can own the ladies ministry in this church. Ukikumbatia huduma ya kina dada go very far. Tutaenda mbali. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. The Lord is looking for Fine has this afternoon. Bwana anatafuta Finea jioni ya leo. Who can stand? Ambaye atasimama. And take a spear. Na chukue mkuu. I said whatever happens. Chochote kitakachofanyika to defend this vision. Tutaenda kupigania huduma. Fine has Finea. stood for God. Walisimama kwa ajili ya Mungu. For, for God, it is not in vain. Ukisimama kwa ajili ya Mungu. Out of Finehas, God made a peace covenant. Mungu alifanya agano la amani. Out of what Finehas did? Kana na kitendo cha Finea. He, he, he said he, out of he, out of the, the what he did, the Lord na, established a priestly covenant into the house of Finehas. Kutokana na kile alifanya Mungu alionyesha. And the Lord told Moses. Na Mungu akamwambia Musa. That After now I've stopped the plague because of Finehas. Fine. And the plague was stopped. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Can you stop a plague? Unaweza simamisha janga? May it in this church. Iwe ni hapa kanisani. May it be in this nation. Iwe ni katika dunia. Uh, May it in the society. Iwe ni katika jamii. Can you be counted on? Unaweza hesabika? that there is somebody somewhere who attach my heart. Kwa kuna mtu mahali ameguza moyo wangu. When you own ukimiliki this ministry huduma hii we talk good of it utazungumza mambo mazuri kuhusu you will defend it utaipigania you will value it utaikumbatia 
you value it utaipa dhamana utaipa dhamana you create time for it uta uh, ipatia muda you invest in it utaifadhi and support it na uta <laughs> utai support utai oh, support utai support <laughs> yes you will value it will support this ministry lazima uishike mkono and i tell you if all of us here na acha niwaambie iwapo kila mmoja wetu hapa wale those who didn't come wacha wale watakayokuja the ones that are here tuko hapa if you can own this ministry iwapo utakumbatia huduma hii we can go very far tutaenda mbali maybe you are a leader Iwapo inaweza kuwa ni kiongozi wa sel. Remember Cosby and Zimri, they were children of, the, of, of, of leaders. Ozil walikuwa ni watoto wa viongozi. Maybe your coordinator. Wewe ni muunganishi wa vikundi. Remember this? Kumbuka Cosby ni. and Zimri were children of leaders. Walikuwa ni watoto wa viongozi. Where are our children? Watoto wetu wako. What are they doing? Wanafanya nini? Remember maybe the parents were hanged. Inaweza kuwa uh, wazazi wao walinyongwa. They are here orphans wamekuwa wajane and that what, that what that's what they are doing na hivyo making wanafanya. love during the day unajua mambo mengine hata ni asiri wanashiriki ngono mchana mambo mengine hata ni asiri bana asifiwe amen but what i miss in my heart it's not what they are doing that where they pass where they are going to do what they were going to do si kile walichokuwa wanafanya lakini pale wanapitia wakienda kufanya kile kitendo in my prayer this afternoon Jioni ya leo this of 2019 mwaka huu wa 2019 when the heavens will be opened mbingu zitakazo kuwa zikifunuka may the lord remember you mungu akukumbuke that you have been investing in this department of the ladies mna umekuwa kifadhi kwa you value this m- m- ministry unaichukulia kwa uzito may this be your ear wacha huu uwe mwaka wako shall we stand on our feet wacha tusimame kwa miguu yetu And you know you are served this afternoon. Unajijua jioni ya leo. Do you own this ministry? Je, unamiliki huduma hii? How well do you talk about this ministry? Unazungumzaje mazuri kuhusu huduma hii? How well can you market this ministry of DOI? Unaweza itangazaje kibiashara yani? Some of you have come here the first time. You, 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 and you are not from our church. Wengine wamekuja hapa tu kupitisha muda. How faithful are you? Uamini wangu the vision in your house unamiliki are you loyal to the vision of your church je wewe ni loyal katika huduma zinazofanyika kanisani this afternoon john ya leo these of open heavens mwaka wa mbingu zinazofanyika has to own this ministry bwana anataka tumiliki that he can find a finehas among us yani atapata finea kati yetu he can yetu. find a ruth among us anazapata ruth katika yetu somebody who can own mtu ambaye anaweza miliki somebody who can devote selflessly selflessly mtu ana anaweza jitolea mwanga and it is not in vain na si kwa bure i'll ask the, the worship team to come ngeomba kikundi cha sifa kije we'll do one number tuimbe wimbo moja we'll go before the lord twende mbele za mungu you know yourself unajijua where you have come from the lord unajua umetoka wapi mbele ya mungu and where you are, you have been na mahali unaelekea and where you want to go na mahali unaelekea because it's about you nobody can search your heart apart from you si kuhusu wewe do you own this ministry je unamiliki huduma hii can the lord count on you bwana anakuisa no i want to buy the bus tunataka kununua bus already you have closed your spirit wewe ushafunga hii kanisa tu ni pesa please don't talk usionge but the bus will be bought lakini bus is the bottom line the bus will be bought basi itanunuliwa itakubeba hata kama uko na uchungu itakubeba because you are a lady I need you now more than yesterday I need you Lord more than words can say I need you more than ever before I need you Lord I need you Today 
I need you more More than words can say I need you more Than ever before I need you Lord I need you Thank you. We honor you because you're faithful, everlasting you, master. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love to you, master. Oh, Jesus, won't you find a thing that has among us to your father, somebody who can bring to an end to your father, the plague Jehovah God. Oh, Father, we have prayed to your father. Oh, God, is our prayer this afternoon that may take a step, Jehovah Father, and walk to where the enemy is in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, God, we desire the zeal that was with Phinehas to your redeemer, that he could stand in the gulf for you to your master, and you could glorify you yourself through him in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to honor you because you are good. But Father, you change us not to your Father. What you did with Phineas, you can also do with us to your master. Therefore, give us this that zeal to your Lord that we can live for you to your Father. That we can own to your master. Oh God and our Father. That we can own to your master. This ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we desire to own this ministry to your Lord. We desire to your Father. We desire we desire Jehovah Father. Come and help us because you are able. But I want to thank you. Come to you, Jesus. We want to repent to your Father. The evil we have spoken against this ministry to your Lord. Won't you forgive us to your Father? Won't you forgive us, Jehovah God? Jesus, won't you forgive us to your Lord? Forgive us this afternoon and make us to own this ministry to your Father. That we can defend it to your Lord. That we can value it, Jehovah. That we can invest in it to your Master. Oh God and our Father. That we can create time for it in the name of Jesus Christ. It's our cry this afternoon. Help us to own this ministry. Jesus Christ. Whenever you have placed us to your father in the ladies' department, help us to own it. Help us to own it, Jehovah. Help us to own our position in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to defend our position because we be accountable our father in the name of Jesus. It is our prayer to your Lord because, you know, you reward your father our ownership. Oh, God. Because of Phinehas to your father, owning his kingdom to your father, and then kingdom that you are the king, Jehovah Father. You made a covenant of peace with Phinehas to your Lord. And in his house to your father, you made a covenant of priesthood in his house, Jehovah called, even to generations to come. Loving Father, it is our prayer. Ruth owned her mother, you know, Naomi. Until you came through for them, Jehovah Father. Today, Ruth is in, in the lineage of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, we want to thank you. We want to bless you because when you own it, your Lord, you will come through for us. We want to thank you. We want to bless you to your Father. Thank you for the entrance of your word. Oh, Jesus, because you know our lives will never be the same again. We open our hearts to your Father. Oh God, and our Master, these are open heavens to your Lord. We desire to own this ministry, to defend it, to speak good of it. In the name of Jesus, receive praise, receive honor. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. May I have a seat?